sorry, I was trying to be nice, but that bitch. You look a mess. What's up, you guys? It's your girl, Star Jack Craziness, and I'm coming to you, you, and you with another Word on the Street segment. If you have not, I'm going to need you to stop, pause, and subscribe to my channel. Turn your post notifications, share this video, like it, comment, and go ahead and check out my website, pineapplelondon25.com, okay, for the stylish handbags and shades. <laughs> you know, you got to always keep your hater blockers on, you know. So... We got Mona Scott and she went on the Wendy Williams show and basically she was promoting her book that she has out now called Blurred Lines. Supposed to be, you know, talking about some stuff that I guess goes on in her life and stuff like that with the whole love and hip hop franchise. But she's saying that's not really it or what. I, if it ain't dropping no tea, we don't want to hear it, okay? But <laughs> so, um, of course. Wendy had to bring up her past employees such as Cardi B, which is doing very well, and Jocelyn. And this is what she had to say, as well as this is what Wendy had to say. No, let's go back. Oh, okay. <laughs> I smell shade. Not at all. Not at all. Well, it's gonna be on we. Yes. Personally speaking, I don't care about a Jocelyn show at this point. I think that that ship has left the, the harbor. <laughs> like, we're not thinking about... Uh, Jocelyn anymore? Poor thing. Listen, she looks great. She's doing her thing. God bless her. Go forth and prosper. Go, you know? Yes. Yes. I promise you. Promise you. Promise the you. shade of it all. <laughs> no shade at all. God bless her. And okay, so from that clip, you know, she really didn't throw no shade. And if you watch the whole, um, what is it? Their whole segment they had together. I don't. I didn't really see too much shade thrown either. It was just more so Wendy was talking about nobody checking for you, Jocelyn. This and that. Now Jocelyn took it upon herself to go on Twitter and just you know release some stuff off her chest. And I'm like, was that harboring in your chest? Was that your feelings were harboring and you was just waiting for the good moment to put Mona on blast? So this is what Mona, not Mona, this is what Jocelyn had to say. Bleep, did you go to Wendy to promote my show or yours? God bless you, Mona B. Your show dropped 50%. And if anyone called me with the negativity, I'm going to curse you out. I give two bleeps about this dirty, crusty mouth. Oh, check me. Okay, we're doing that little check me boo type sure <laughs> If you did not, go see my previous video about Sheree Whitfield coming out with a rug line. A rug line, okay? Definitely go check that out because that lady right there, boy, I, I really hope it works for her. She got two for the five, three for the 20. <laughs> Let me stop. But definitely go check that out. Um, But yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm a little confused. But maybe... Mona had said some slick shh before, and that was just um, Jocelyn way of just relieving it, saying, look, look here, oh, you ain't about to, ugh. I'm like, okay, Jocelyn, you know she got a temper, she got a temper, but y'all tell me what y'all think about this in the comment section below, do you think Jocelyn was overreacting, do you think Mona shaded Jocelyn in any kind of form or way, personally, they both doing what they want to do, Jocelyn, you done, let go of love and hip hop or they let you go whatever you want to call it and you moving on to we tv supposedly so you know just make your coin continue making your coin mona continue pimping these people out on this love and hip hop and we just gonna do that so y'all take care and i'll see you on the next word on the street be breezy we want